14 lead. 31 yard kick from Marshall and a short return for Longview back at the Longview 49. So Longview's into the field, first down and 10 with 3.27 to go before halftime. Longview's had the momentum early. They kind of let it slip away, but they've got a chance to gain it back here on their last possession of this uh, half. Keelan Shaw is the running back from the spread formation. First down and 10. Aaron Johnson. They're going to give it to Shaw. Right side he goes. He's got it broken. 30, 20, 10. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line at the 7. Well, Keelan Shaw busted again. Another big run for him. At the seven-yard line, first and goal, Longview. 3.18 to go in the half. It's 20-14. to 14. Longview leads. 44-yard gain from Keelan Shaw. Tyler McCray back in the game for Longview at the eye back. First down and goal for Longview at Marshall's seven-yard line. 3.18 to go before halftime. Double tight end set for Longview with one wide receiver, Fortson. High formation. First down and goal. There's McCray, left side to the five. Oh, he almost got through the crack. He got it to the five-yard line. It was a nice play by, by Jaquan Kelly, the linebacker, who got him around the legs. So it's going to be second down, and Longview needs five yards for a touchdown. 3.03 to go before halftime. 20-14 to 14 is our score. Longview leads Marshall. First down and go long, or second down and go long view from Marshall's five. High formation again on second down and five. Johnson's going to throw the fade to Fortson. And complete. He caught it, but he couldn't stay in the end zone. So it's third down and five. And went to the fade route. It was a good throw by Aaron Johnson and a good catch, but just a little bit too far to the side and was caught out of bounds. So it's third down and goal for Longview from Marshall's five-yard line. Tell you what, John, it's a pretty big series right here. It is a big series. It's a big very play. Big. It's a very big play on third down and five. Court sending Robertson to the far side of the field. Tight end near side of the field is Olson. Spread formation. Third down and goal. Johnson is going to run it to the left side. He's going to turn up the field at the five-yard line and be knocked out of bounds at the three. I'm not quite sure what that play was going to be. I'm not either. I, it looked like he was going uh, going to run it to the right, and then he backed up and looked to his left. I don't, I don't know if he was looking for a receiver. or I'm not sure, I'm not sure what went on. <laughs> I'm not either. I'm just going to kick a, try to kick a field goal to make it a 23-14 game. 2.27 to go before halftime. It's going to be a 15-yard attempt by Kyle Jenkins. Thomason will hold it. Snap good. Jenkins kicks this one up. And it's good. 23-14, Longview. 2.21 to go before halftime. Back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. Welcome back, everyone. Longview 23 and Marshall 14. I'll be with a great opportunity as they get down to the five-yard line. The drive stalls out. Jenkins comes in and uh, hits the 20-yard field goal. It's 23-14 Longview with 2.21 to play in the first half. Marshall going to get the ball back. Sam Crowder to kick this one off of Longview. This is a nice kick. It's going to go to Sadler at the seven-yard line. Back he comes across the field. And he's got a big run going. It to the 25-30, 35-40, 45, all the way to midfield. Wow. He, was, uh, he went all the way across the field to Longview's 49. He showed great speed as he crossed the field. You don't get away with that very often, but he had enough speed to do it, and then he turned up the sideline. And Marshall's going to start with great field position, the ball on the 49-yard line. They sure are. At Longview's 49, first and 10, 208 to go in the half. It's 23-14 Longview. And the football at Longview's 49-yard line. Wow. It is blocking traffic. That was a 41-yard return. Sure was. First and 10, Marshall from the Longview 49. Butts set to the near side. Receiver, one wide receiver. Unbalanced near side of the field. A good is the running back on first down. 
They're going to give it to Haygood. Finds a crease up the middle. Got 12 to the Longview 38. Haygood on the carry. Joe Brown First and 10 Marshall at Longview's 38. 2.01 to go in the half. 23-14 Longview leads Marshall. And Marshall with the football at Longview's 38-yard line. First down and 10. Bunch this time to the far side of the field. Marshall unbalanced to the far side on first down and 10. Fitzgerald now motion comes back to the near side. They give it to Haygood again. This time he's downed after a couple of yards to the 37. Deop uh, uh, Johnson and uh, Lante Darden on the play. Second down and eight at the Longview 31. Minute and 29 to go before halftime. Marshall's got two of their timeouts left. Longview's got all three of theirs. Second down and eight. Bunch formation near side. One wide receiver far side of the field. Under center. Now motion. And now bootleg by Fitzgerald. He's going to throw this one down the middle. It's kicked in the air or knocked in the air and incomplete. What a nice defensive play that was. By, was it Alante Darden, John? I think it was Alante Darden as they were trying to go wow. the, the post route. And uh, it was Darden. And uh, it was uh, Sadler that had run the post route. And it looked like he was open. Actually, he had a man underneath that was wide open. That's who I thought he was going to go to. He tried to go up top and Darden. Made a good defensive play. Third down and eight for Marshall from Longview's 36-yard line. 59 seconds to go before halftime. Longview 20 and Marshall 14. Third down and eight. Motion back to the near side of the field. Fitzgerald's going to throw it quick over the middle. Caught by Fritch and tackled at the 24 of Longview. It's a pretty tough play as they actually send in motion out here to this side to Sadler. They fake the ball to him and come back to a little quick slant to French. And and you freeze the safety and then bring the guy on the inside. And uh, that's a good play if they make the catch, and they did that time. Tackle by Joe Brown. Two wide receivers near side of the field. Two to the far side on first down. One running back on first and ten from Longview's 24. Well, let's see if Longview was offsides or if they were drawn offsides. Longview jumped and then their left tackle moved. Yep, it's against, against Longview. 